Hi guys, uh, this is Vishal here from Trapcode. So in this video, we will understand how to create records uh, using a form and display the records on the same page. So a lot of times there are requirements where you want to create some data and you want to immediately display it on the same page without redirecting user to some other page. So let's see how that can be done. Right. So we have created a dummy project which has a collection called a product. It has a couple of attributes or fields. It is name, description, manufacturing date and status. Okay. So we have a page where we are just displaying list. Now what I want, I want to create a form. I should be able to add data uh, from that form and then the table Im should immediately get updated with the new record which I just created. Okay. Let's see how this can be done. So what I do, I have this table. So let's see how this looks like. So currently it is showing two products. Okay, so let's build a form here, add the data and it should get displayed here itself. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll go to my components and drop a collection form. I'll choose the collection and I'll choose the event. So as of now we have not created any event, so let's not choose it. We'll create an event and then bind it. Okay. So let's go and bind an event. Create an event called create product and refresh table. Okay, so what it will do? It will create a product and refresh the table which is out there. So what we'll have to do? First of all, we'll say go to the collection and save the data. This is important. So save the data and product. Okay, success matches. Let's see. Okay, so basically success and failure messages. Now what I want to do, as soon as the product gets created, I want to refresh the table with the latest data. Okay, so I go to my, uh, I go to this navigation and click this refresh section. So basically what it does, it refreshes or reloads the section which you want it to reload okay so here i'll choose the product page which is the home page and in the refresh component i'll choose the data table so this is the same data table which uh, we have there right and then i'll save it okay so now what we are saying save the data and reload or refresh the table so let's go and bind this collection to the page I'll just resize this form so just to make it more visible. Okay. So that it appears in just one line. Okay. So now this is the form. So what I want to do, I want to create a product and the product should immediately get displayed here. So let's go and bind the event which we just created. So I go to my form and in the select event, I'll choose this event, create product and refresh table. This is which I created just now and save it. Now let's, let's view this page again. So here you are seeing we have this product form. Okay, and we have this table. As of now, there are two products. Okay, so let's create one more product. Product three. Description. Let's say random description. Manufacturing date, let's say first of March. And status is available. Now what will happen? I'll submit this. It will save the data, refresh this table so that this data get displayed here also. So I'll click submit. So it has saved the data and the product is here. But it has reloaded the whole table again. Let's try it once more. Product 4. Some description, some date, status. Okay, and then submit. So it has saved the data and reloaded the table again. So this is basically how you create the data on a same page and then reload it or refresh the section in which you want to display. Right. So this is one way to do it. Okay. 
there are more uh, interesting way to do it. Let's say I don't want this table to reload again and again. I want only that particular record to be updated in the table with the table remaining at its place. Right? As of now, if you see, the whole table gets load. Right? So let's see how this can be done. So I'll go back to my event. Okay, and let's create another event. Record. So now what I am saying, I want to create the product, but I don't want to reload the whole table. I just want to reload that particular section or just append the new product. Okay. So append basically will append at the bottom. So let's see how this can be done. So I go to my collection, save data in the product, successes product created. Save it. Now in the navigation, I'll go to refresh section. Okay, I'll choose my table. That which table to refer with this data table. Now here you can see there are options whether you want to append it or whether you want to append it at the beginning or at the end. But not right. So I'll say append it at the end. Right. So whatever new product we what we will create, it will get appended at the bottom of the table. If we choose beginning, it will get appended at the top of the table. So let's see. Save this. Let's go back to our page again. Here in the collection form, instead of create product and refresh table, and now I will bind create product and append the new record. Okay. Then I just save this. Let's open this page. Now, as of now, it has one, two, three, four, four records, right? Let's add product five. Product five. Some description, manufacturing date, and status. Now, as soon as I submit this form, this table will not disappear. Only this product file will get added here. Let's see. I submitted it. Save the data, and you see product 5 is here. It has not actually reloaded the whole table. Similarly, if we say append in the beginning, so it will add the product here. Right. So this is a more uh, smooth way of adding data so that uh, whatever is there remains there and the new product gets added there. Similarly, we can have the same setting for delete. So let's see how this can be done. So I go to the page, I go to the event and add an event. Delete in the collection, delete data. Okay. Basically, confirm message and success in the message. Now after that, I'll go to navigation, refresh section. Here I'll choose which section, the same table. So this will basically reload the table. If you don't give any setting, it will just delete and reload the whole table. So let's see how this can be done. Okay. Now I'll go to my page and bind this event to the delete part. The workflow event, I'll say delete product. Let's go and reload this page. Now, if I delete, let's say product 2, it is showing me the message which we gave. And as soon as I will click, yes, it will delete this record and show me the table with three records. You see, the product 3 is gone. Right. I hope this is clear now. So keep publishing more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.